welcome back to Sunny Stampin' Studio. We're on part two of our little punch shelf. And we're going to be doing now the eyes, the nose, and the two little hands, and of course adding on our pom-pom. Okay? So let's get started. To uh, do these pieces, these parts, you're going to need two small flowers from the Boho Blossom Punch. That is the smallest flower right over there. You're going to need a standard uh, size hole punch, and you can find that at any office supply store, and you're going to be punching out three circles from Blush Blossom, two circles from Whisper White, and then last you're going to need a one-eighth circle punch or the smallest circle from your crocodile, and you're going to need two little black circles. And then a little extra you're going to need the um, little uh, pom-pom from the dollar store. Okay, so we're going to start with the eye. So we're going to need the little pieces over here to set aside our pom-pom. Now, as you can see, I'm back home. I have my favorite tweezers just as a, to show you the type I like. I like it to be able to stay closed when you're not applying pressure. It just makes it easier for maneuvering the pieces. So we're going to start with our Whisper White. We're going to add just a little touch of the Tempting Turquoise along the edge. You don't want it to be too strong, but you want the little shadow of the eyeball over there. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. Next, I'm going to take my little Blush Blossom Circle and I'm going to ink it up with a little bit of creamy caramel. Okay, so there you have that one. And then we have our black dot. We can now start assembling our eye. We're going to take our Blush Blossom Circle. We're going to cut it in half. Keep the larger half for your eyelid. Discard the smaller half. Okay, and just flip that over so you can see how large it is. We're going to take our little black circle, for which is our pupil. We're going to add a touch of glue and put it onto our white circle. Okay, then we're going to take our little eyelid. Now it's always tricky when you're working with little pieces like this. They have this tendency to want to stick to you, which is a real pain. But it's one of the things you kind of get used to when you're doing this tiny little um, paper punching. Okay, so we're going to add our little eyelid on. Okay. So there's our eye. I'm just trying to get off the excess glue and just watch out that you don't shift it around before it's dry. So I'm not going to touch it right now. I'll just let that dry before moving it. I'm going to take another circle and we're going to do our nose with this one. We're going to add just a little touch of creamy caramel along the edge. And we're going to take a little bit of our rose red chalk. I'm just going to hold this down with my tweezers. I don't want to leave an imprint, but there. Add a nice little rose tint to his nose because, of course, it's very cold in winter. So we're going to set that one aside. And now we're going to work on his hands. And we're going to take our creamy caramel and a sponge dauber once again. And just ink up four of the petals. These four petals are going to be representing his four fingers. The thumb will be tucked in behind, or at least that's what we're going to imagine. Okay. So then we're just going to take those and cut a little curve around for our four fingers. So that's a little hand. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you applying the nose. We already have the eyes applied to the face here just to make things go a little quicker. I'm going to take our nose and I'm going to use glue dots because it's just a little easier than waiting for the glue to dry and having it shift around on me. When I can get away with little shortcuts like this I do. Okay, so just add in his little nose. Press that down. And a little glue dot for his pom-pom. Okay, so this one you may have to kind of fiddle with a bit. Okay, I'm just going to plop his pom-pom on top of his hat. Okay, so the only thing we're missing now is a little bit of highlighting. As you can see, this is a different Naughty the Elf. I've had a few takes and plenty of mistakes. 
Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of a gleam in his pupil. Going to have a little bit of a shine to that rosy nose. And I'll just add on my little dots to his cheek here again. Okay, so there you have it. Naughty the Elf and his two little peeking hands, which you can of course place over a tag or over a little present. And he is just a fun, cute little fellow to uh, put for your Christmas cards. I hope you enjoyed it.